Hey guys, what's up? How are you? And welcome back to my channel. It's me, your host, Ebot. And this will be a Toys in My Closet episode and video uh, basically talking about my top figures of 2019. Now, most people, as you see, when they do them, they do it based off, uh, you know, the fact... Uh, in different factions like they'll do their black series and they'll do uh, their marvel legends but since i don't just um collect one specific line and concentrate mostly on those lines like black series for example or like marvel legends i pretty much dive in into a little bit of a lot of things in different from different collections uh i really don't want to structure it that way i didn't want to do two or three videos or even four with diff the different you know series so what i decided to do was i decided to do it where i pick out two or one of my favorite figures from each line that i collect at the moment and put them all together in one whole cohesive unit video and break them down um uh based off each uh, collection they're dedicated to or or series line um so uh as you guys know I'm only going to talk about figures in in the in, that I collect myself from collections I collect myself because there's a lot more figures out there that are fantastic that I really haven't dived in or couldn't dive in uh, because economically I just can't afford them. You know things like Hot Toys or Mezco or you know Revel Tech or SH Figure Arts and so forth and so forth. You guys get the idea. So. These figures are strictly going to be based, what my picks are strictly going to be based off what I collected personally and what I enjoyed and what I feel were the best figures of 2019 based off the series and collections that I collect over in my parameters. Uh, it's not to say that other figures are not better from other toy lines and other collections. Uh, that's not the point. Uh, the point is to pick my personal of uh, picks based off my personal collection and i hope you guys you know stick for the ride uh because i couldn't just pick 10. what i end up having is a list of 37 figures and i know it sounds like a lot but i'm going to try to go by each and every one fast as i can dedicate maybe a minute to each one so the video won't be too exhausting so i hope you stay tuned i hope you don't get bored i hope you sit down have a digital drink and come along for the ride and enjoy my picks and then tell me what you think once you watch it at the end of the video and uh like i said before um this is you know uh based off what i collect not what else is out there and that's why i don't have a lot of collect uh, figures that might have been uh, from other lines you know due to the fact that i just don't collect them because of uh, affordability so stay tuned and i hope you enjoy and i'll see you very soon. Stick around. And here we go, guys. My number 37. Gogeta from the Super, Super Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star Series line by Bandai. This figure was a pleasant surprise, especially at the price point in which it offers and what it has to offer us, the collector for a big bang for your buck sort of deal. Uh, some would even uh, argue that this Gogeta was a better looking figure than the SH figure arts, which I completely agree, even though it doesn't have the same amount of accessories or maybe the same amount of paint applications. But this Gogeta is a immaculate figure and a pleasant surprise, a definite, definite banger so to speak, for the Super Dragon Star line. Number 36. Alfred from the DC Multiverse Mattel collection line of the six inch, six inch scale. This Alfred is an exquisite, an exquisite figure and a perfect example of how well Mattel can actually execute a DC figure had they done and put forth more effort in their DC line. Many many of us know 
the DC line were hit or miss. This outfit came with three excellent portraits. As you see here, this is the outfit from the Michael Keaton Batman, Tim Burton, AKA, and also came with the anime Batman from the animation and the face portrait of the Adam West at, uh, um, Alfred. So, definitely an exquisite figure, one to pick up, really nice accessories, really well painted, and even really well articulated. Number 35. As you see here, in all of his glory, we have the Emperor from the uh, Star Wars Return of the Jedi. This is a figure that was highly anticipated that many were waiting for from the very beginning. Finally released as an Amazon exclusive for their 6-inch Black Series line. This Emperor is a very you know, beautiful depiction of the Emperor on his throne with three different portraits, lightning effect, the cane, and beautiful black cloth. The figure is fully articulated and is a beautiful, beautiful re-release of the original that was out in the Black Series line. Definitely a must pick up. It's an Amazon exclusive. It wasn't really hard to come by, still isn't till today. Highly recommended. The Emperor is my number 35. Number 34, as you see here again, we're taking a look at another Super Dragon Star, Super, no, Super Dragon Ball Dragon Star, uh, Normal Form Frieza. This is a beautiful, beautiful figure for the price range of $20 from the Dragon Star series that rivaled the actual figure from the, uh, SH figure arts from Bandai themselves. Also, let's keep in mind that Frieza and the Dragon Star line are also by Bandai. It's supposed to be a lower end version of those figures that they bring out in the SH figure art form. And this Frieza, the paint application, the articulation, the feet uh, having less uh, tight, uh, you know, loose joints. Everything, the tail, the way everything's applied is so nice and clean. This figure is a perfect example of how good a smaller line can be as far as quality and quality control at a nice reasonable price point from a over the seas uh, market type of company. My number 34 is uh, normal foam freezer. My number 33, as you see here, is none other than Voldemort from the McFarlane Toys, 22 points of articulation, Harry Potter series line. And Voldemort was a pleasant surprise, a perfect example of how well McFarlane can bring uh, out with his figures, the quality and the type of uh depiction as far as paint applications the 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 the, the uh, likeness of characters the cloth goods nice amount of accessories a nice stand the type of quality that McFarlane can deliver at the price point that uh you know he sells them for around the prices of 20 to 24 dollars Voldemort is a perfect example of how good a figure can be from a company that really has been lacking to say the least in the last couple of years but can redeem themselves if they continue with this type of quality my number 32 is none other than the jazzware rabbit raider i believe she this is basically essentially jonesy in a rabbit costume celebrating the easter holiday jazzware's been out for of the figure game line for a while as far as the figure collecting collectibles uh, figures go you know at the at six inch scale a lot of those guys used to work at the old toy biz uh company making the old school marvel legends their first entry into the figure line in collectibles fashion with these fortnite figures was a pleasant surprise these figures are highly, 
highly articulated, really nicely painted, beautiful deco, beautiful articulation, uh, beautiful details, and the paint job's pretty clean. Most of the time, almost 95% of the figures are always nicely painted and clean. And the accessories are very, very, uh, uh, very well implemented. It comes with a lot of slew of accessories and work, and work very well with the uh, Fortnite collection. As figures, and the price point for $20, they're phenomenal. This is my number 32. My number 31. The DC Essentials 7 inch scale line Cheetah. And we haven't had a really beautiful Cheetah character and figure in a very long time. The last one that was actually pretty nice was the one from the DC Classics from Mattel. And this is a line that I believe is a subsidiary of Mattel, but not directly from Mattel. Um, this figure is a perfect, perfect depiction. Of a character that had long overdue a proper character with beautiful articulations which scales really well within your six and seven inch lines uh, figure because these figures uh, scale between that range from six and a half to six and seven inches she's paint job is articulate immaculate the articulation is very well done the joints are not too loose not too uh, tight a uh, very pleasant surprise at a $24.99 price point. Um, I think she's uh, worth every penny, with the exception that she doesn't really come with a lot of accessories. To be honest, she didn't bring any, but because she looked so well, so well sculpted, beautiful face, and we haven't had a good Chitara, or Cheetah, you could Chitara, excuse me, Cheetah figure, she's definitely worth uh, being uh, granted one of the best figures of uh, 2019. And here is my number 30, the PowerCon 2019 exclusive three-pack Slamurai. A beautiful, beautiful character that was created uh, many years ago, I believe, in for comics, or the mini-comics in the Master Universe line in the 80s, or it was a um, kind of a, uh, a figure that was... They were trying to make, you know, concept art, and they never got to make it. And they actually finally made it, thanks to Super 7, thanks to PowerCon. It was exclusively sold on big, bad toy stores. I'm um, very lucky and, and feel very fortunate to have, have this figure in my collection. But it was one figure that absolutely had to be part of my list. A beautiful white ninja, the first time that the actual... Masters of the Universe Classic line had a figure with cloth goods and so many uh, posable options with, you know, the merry variations of weapons, portraits, and, and uh, accessories that he comes with. Very pricey, not to say the least, but for a hardcore Motu fan, um, you, it's something you must own in your collection and you would not have any regrets because it's a beautiful piece and it's uh, something we've waited for for a very long time. So my number 30 is none other than Slamurai. And here is my number 29. The NECA Tim Curry It Clown figure. Never have we had a figure depicting the character from the iconic TV miniseries from back in the 80s which starred Tim Curry playing the clown himself. From the Stephen King masterpiece novels, this figure is absolutely masterfully executed. Wonderful paint applications in incredible amounts of detail, wonderful articulation, beautiful amounts of, um, a plethora of amounts of, of accessories with beautiful details on each and every piece, uh, from the hand changes to the balloons, the tying of the balloons as you see there with the wired format that they use the the vest everything about this figure screams high quality and NECA's execution was second to none uh, and since they're the type of company that love to do horror stuff and like to actually get out of the norm and out of the box when it comes to the 
figure adult collectible lines. This figure was a absolute pleasure to have finally to add into our collection. So this figure is exquisite in my opinion. Definitely deserves to be on this list. Number 28, the McFarlane Toys 7 inch scale line from Fortnite, The Prisoner. And this figure right here was really a surprise, caught me off guard. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as it did because it had so much detail, so much uh, uh, points, uh, you know, uh, attention to the detail that I thought would hinder and it would actually affect the quality of the figure um, as far as um, the articulation but to my surprise it worked out very well the figure was not hindered at all in any way shape or form as you guys can see here he's painted very very well he has beautiful beautiful amounts of accessories uh, one of that should definitely be picked up by anyone that is a Fortnite fan and that is really enjoying these McFarlane figures. Uh, th this one is one of the best releases that he's had so far this year and to this point with the Fortnite line, um, in my opinion. And if you pick him up, I think you'll probably feel the same. A very deserving figure to be on this list. Number 27, the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Beast Morphers Gold Ranger. And unlike many that go crazy over Lord Draken and uh, other ones like uh, Lord Zed, which definitely deserve a spot, I found this figure to be an absolute pleasant surprise and it really blew me away with the attention of detail, the gold paint being done so well with the nice sheen, the nice effects piece, the portraits that you can change from the human form to the helmet form. This figure, the movement, the way it's detailed, the paint applications being so clean and even the articulation of how well it is. Hasbro just has completely knocked it out the park with their Lightning Collection Power Ranger line since they acquired an ownership of the Power Rangers license. And this just shows that Hasbro has the ability to bring high quality figures from any source material at an affordable price when they really put all forth an effort to what they do. Very, very beautiful figure. One that you need to add to your collection. One of the best that came out this year, the Gold Ranger from Beast Morphers. Next, my number 26. None other than the Star Wars 6 inch Black Series Obi Wan Kenobi Clone War uh, figure, which, um, or Clone Trooper figure, I believe. This is from the actual cartoon that I never really invested time in, but they made him look in a more lifelike, realistic style as if he existed in the actual theatrical cinematic movie aesthetics he is a exclusive that was exclusive to uh, Walgreens with the cloth goods of the Jedi cloak with the combination of the armor from the stormtrooper I think he looks absolutely incredible really love this figure and the photo tech reel on Ewan McGregor's face of the depiction of him as Obi-Wan is spectacular second to none really wonderful one of my favorite black series definitely worthy of a spot in this list for 2019 my number 25 the NECA alien versus predator arcade appearances alien razors claw alien to be exact this is a super beautifully detailed, painted and articulated uh, figure in the Alien series. One of the best Alien figures I've seen thus far to this point with the nice fuchsia purple coloring and the white uh, overspray here and there with all of the 
you know, claws being long and looking like knives out of his hands, his tail, his toes, even in his head, and then the translucency from the, the skull of the alien's head. This NECA figure for the Alien series of the Alien vs. Predator arcade game is absolutely spectacular. Uh, it stands at about 10 inches, I believe, and it is worth every penny at the price point of $27.99. Definitely one of the best Alien releases and from NECA uh, in 2019 and worthy of a spot on this list. My number 24. One of the best surprises of 2019, as I said when I reviewed them, it was a throwback to when I was doing model kits with my son when he was much yo very younger, much younger, and he was into robots and building stuff with dad. And it is the brand new Bandai Gundam Universe RX-78. And this is the original Gundam robot mech with depicted in a absolutely beautiful fashion with some fantastic fantastic paint applications nice accessories beautifully executed as far as the uh, articulation goes but definitely priced at a very reasonable and pleasant price point one of the big surprises of 2019 they already released two waves six figures in the line I'm all in I, I highly recommend any of you guys out there that are Gundam fans to go out and take the dive. They're almost anywhere you go now, and they're very they're worth every penny. Really nice uh, figures in, in mech form. The Gundam Universe from Bandai, uh, you know, uh, figure figures that okay, that we uh, you know really didn't see coming, or I didn't expect to see coming. Uh, definitely worth being in uh, this list. My number 23, none other than the Jazzware Fortnite 6-inch line, DJ Yonder. This figure is a sight to behold. A 6-inch figure, a 6-inch figure that is done at such a high quality with all the beautiful paint applications to depict discotech light balls and DJ light pyrotechnic balls. His ha helmet that is like a homage basically to uh, the guys over there Daft Punk with beautiful colors everywhere really well painted the accessories are incredible he comes with his two shoot you know his, his two uh, pistols one of the best Fortnite figures right now most original and creative to date for the Jazzware line I really am looking forward to see what McFarlane does with this figure himself this is DJ Yonder, for my number 23, definitely deserves to be on the 2019 greatest fig, best figs of 2019 list. My number 22, the beautiful Silver Samurai from the Hasbro Marvel Legends 6 inch throwback line uh, with the carded uh, its style of back in the 90s or late 80s early 90s this silver samurai is a beautiful example of how well and how good marvel legends from hasbro can actually be in if they're executed and done right he is really really well done my only gripe was that he didn't have actual slippers as opposed to boots but other than that uh you know like metal slippers and silver other than that, I think he was almost perfect uh, with the paint applications, the accessories is fine, and the way they execute it, everything about it looks fantastic. My number 23. My number 21, none other than the Hasbro Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime. I've always said that if they made the movies, the live action ones, with the actual aesthetics and looks of the original OG1 Transformers, I would be all in and picking up the figures because I just love G1. That's the one I grew up with. That's my favorite Transformers. 
and this Optimus Prime is no slouch and spares no expense. The level of detail, the paint applications, the actual uh, attention to love and care that went into this game, the, this fig, uh, is quite evident when you look at him. He's really, really great. Nicely clean in the transformation. Uh, really um, well executed. And he, he looks fantastic. I would love to see them make more studio series Bumblebee movie G1 characters like Soundwave, Starscream, even Brawn and all, and even RC. I can't wait to see where it goes, but definitely worthy to be on the list. My number 21. Here is my number 20. The DC Essentials Red Hood. And what can I say? This figure is absolutely what every single DC figure made by DC themselves or Mattel should have should be the perfect perfect figure in perfect perfectly executed from the colors to the articulation to the way the joints are they're not too loose and not too tight to the presentation of the color of the paint applications from matte to gloss and even the fact that he has two guns as accessories that have uh, somewhere to store them with weapon placements on the figure itself. This red hood needs to be in everybody's figure collection, especially if you're a DC fan and are definitely if you're a red hood fan. One of the best figures in the DC Essentials line this year for 2019. A definitely worthy candidate of this list. So coming in at my number 19, none other than the Hasbro Overwatch 6 inch line Lucio. And Lucio is a absolutely beautiful, beautiful figure with great articulation, great paint applications, really nice accessories, very well executed, paint, a very clean paint job. And it's definitely a, it's very, it's kind of, it's a happy accident for me in the sense that I wish that this makes me wish that Hasbro would actually be able to do a figure line for the video game Jet Set Radio, uh, which would be absolutely spectacular. Because Lucio has that type of aesthetic and style. He is a wonderful, wonderful figure with its translucent effects of when he's skating in neon green, with his gun that looks like a speaker. I mean, his and glasses is translucent green. Uh, what can I say? This figure, it was a pleasant, pleasant surprise. Really well executed and very well handled by Hasbro. Number, my number uh, 19 on the spot, Lucio. My number 18. The Storm Collectibles Gears of War 5 Coal Train. This figure is the creme de la creme. An absolute spectacular execution in action figure form at the premium highest quality. The paint applications, the accessories, the overall likeness of the character, the articulation they have never made gears of war figures with this much quality before it was either good articulation not very good sculpting very amazing sculpting not very good articulation so it's always been kind of a hit or a miss uh and storm collectible has basically knocked it out of the park with these gears of war figures uh you know of also knowing that they made the marcus phoenix um, but I gave the, the, the lot more to Coltrane because Mark X Phoenix had already had a lot of iterations of figures. This is just the second take or version of Coltrane uh, that we've had and also one in three inch form. So my number 18 goes to the Storm Collectibles Coltrane. Worthy of a spot and worthy of you guys adding him to your collection. My number 17, the Hasbro 6-inch 
Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Charge Gold Ranger. And this figure is beautiful. This figure has really, really nice paint applications, an exquisite amount of detail, very well executed, nice amounts of accessories, very, very clean paint apps, and very nicely uh, uh, clean lines of the paint applications themselves with the nice, uh, you know, effects that are, you know, like the lightning effects and things of that nature. It is very, very, very well executed. One of my favorite and pleasant surprise in the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line this year. I was really happy to find him in my local Walmart, and he definitely belongs in your Power Ranger Lightning Collection shelf. So if you don't have him, go out and pick him up. He's from Wave 3, and he's worth every bit of your time and, your, and for you to have him on your collection for 2019. Coming in at my number 16 is the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series Bebop from the uh, Target exclusive 2-pack. This figure is absolutely beautiful. The, the attention to details and the attention to to the line work of, of the animation and depiction of it is very well executed with a lot of nice articulation like in the jaw which was kind of unexpected and thing and the accessories it brings is very well done one of the most beautiful ninja turtle figures coming out from NECA this year and he is well worth being on your list the like I said the NECA target two-pack exclusive Rocksteady, excuse me, it wasn't Bebop, it's Rocksteady uh, figure, absolutely exquisite, a must own for 2019. Coming in at number 15 is none other than the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men animated series white version Storm. This figure is immaculate, she's beautiful what can I say she has cloth goods she has really nice white and yellow line painting the translucent effects of her powers her face sculpt the painting on her face absolutely beautiful and the hairline the way they sculpted her hair the way they painted her hair with the hair with the brushing of, of some uh, gray on top uh, her articulation the pearlescent uh, white pearlescent uh, you know um, finish on her actual uh, mold and, and body it's just she is one of my favorite Marvel Legends if not the me, my most favorite of this entire year she is absolutely splendid and beautiful and spectacular a definite must own to your collection and definitely worthy to be on this list. My number 14 is the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Voyager, Voyager Class Springer aka a triple changer and this is probably the nicest uh, uh, representation of Springer from the Transformers movies that has been done to date in figure form. It's modern, but yet it has the same classic look and aesthetic of the original Springer. But it looks modernized, and it's absolutely beautiful. I think one of the best Transformers that came out this year, alongside maybe someone like Ratchet, which was a Wall Greens exclusive. Springer is a figure that you definitely should include in your collection. If you're a Transformer fan, if you're a Springer fan, for sure he should definitely be part of your collection. And he just is worthy to be on one of the best figures of 2019. And top 10, 20, 30, it doesn't matter. He deserves to be on that list for anyone. He is amazing. 
My number 13, the NECA 2 pack Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Bebop from the Ninja Turtles animation. Again, yes, this wasn't a two pack, but they are two separate figures, meaning they look different. They are two different characters, even though you've got to buy them together. This is the best representation we've ever had since the Playmate figures of the animation style of Bebop to date. The articulation, the paint applications, his accessories, the attention to detail from his chain to his glasses moving up, everything that is about it spills with nothing but love. Even the lines of artwork and cell shading to give it that animation style look. NECA went far and beyond out their way to try to give us the best representation of this character in, in figure form. A must own for 2019 and definitely a must have for your figure adult action figure collection. Coming in at my number 12 DC Multiverse and Universe Dick Grayson Robin and this Robin figure is an absolute masterpiece of of a work of art if you look at it from all the nice pieces of paint job applications that they tried to implement from the details uh, the, even the actual uh, you know um, shape and anatomy of the figure um, it's really really well executed um, and has a, shows a lot in the potential that Mattel right had to create really high quality DC figures with the same type of love that they've given through the years with their WWE line this uh, Robin uh, it's beautiful um, very well articulated as well really the weak the problem probably be the accessories it doesn't really come with a lot of accessories or somewhere to put his weapon or store it but other than that the figure is uh, well worth the price point of $17.99 and uh, definitely a must own for any DC fans and uh, action figure aficionados to add to your collection if you enjoy a good looking action figure he is one of the best of 2019 and uh, definite must own. Coming in at my number 11, one that I just reviewed not too long ago on my channel, none other than the Storm Collectible. Greatest Boxers, Muhammad Ali figure. This figure, like I said in the review, is a sight to behold. It's absolutely beautiful very well executed a beautiful depiction of a legendary icon hero and influencer in the real world this gentleman gentleman by the name of Ali is one of the greatest technical boxers of all time and this figure is got to be the best representation that we've ever seen of Muhammad Ali in seven to eight inch scale form this figure is a more premium priced figure, but it is absolutely worth every single penny. It has great cloth goods, great accessories, articulation is spectacular, the color work, the attention to details is second to none. Storm Collectible knocked it out of the park with this figure and is a definite must own to anyone that is a Muhammad Ali fan and anyone that really is a serious adult collector or action figure collector that loves anything with quality and that stands out with that premium class this figure is a must own in a wonderful release for 2019 uh, I can't stress it enough I really really highly recommend them coming in at my number 10 the storm collectibles second Seven, Katsuya Matsushima or Mishima and this figure is an absolute delight and pleasant pleasant uh, piece of plastic 
in figure form, a depiction of a video game character that has been done at the most exquisite and highest quality possible in a premium affordable line at this scale. The paintwork in line is absolutely exquisite. The accessories are really, really generous, really well executed. The level of detail to his body, his sculpting, the articulation, this figure is worth every single penny. And this is my number 10 spot. And this figure is actually one of the figures from the next 10 going down with the least attention to detail and, in, and, and our intricacy, in my opinion. But this is one you must own and must add to your collection. Kayama, Kayama, right? Katsumi Kayama. Um, from Tekken, Katsuya Matsushima is one of the greatest Tekken figures ever produced from any line. You must go out and pick him up. He is worth every penny and you have to add him out to your collection. Highly recommend him for a 2019 release. Coming in at my number 9, the Bandai Gundam Universe 6 in scale Death Fife Mech Mobile Suit Gundam. This figure is absolutely stunning. He is a mech robot suit Gundam from Mobile Suit in figure form. The articulation is spectacular. Definitely a worth purchase especially if you don't want to go into the Bandai model kit building line and just want to have a figure out of packaging with great quality, great paint application, great articulation, great display option. These figures were the most surprising figure line of 2019 for me personally. And I think it would be for many of you especially if you're out there trying to get your fix on anything that's mech related with anime style figures from anime lines and it's been a long time since i've collected gundam with which i did more often when my son was younger and i haven't since and now with this new line it is a breath of fresh air to just be able to take it out without having to build it and enjoy it for what it is at a really nice nice pristine quality it even comes through a holster to uh, store his weapon definitely a must own definitely will surprise you in my opinion I'm almost 100% positive that it will if you pick it up and add him to your collection because he is worth every penny the Gundam Universe Bandai Mobile Suit Gundam Death Sight Coming in at my number eight is none other than the McFarlane Toys Fortnite seven inch scale Red Strike. And Red Strike, I believe at first was an Amazon exclusive, later to be found in places and outlets like GameStop. This figure is a fantastic looking figure. The creativity, the look, the style, the aesthetics, the paint job, the color scheme, the articulation, the accessories is screamed almost something that is perfection. The style of the figure, he looks like a modern day ninja and with that fits with the urban style of today's lifestyle. It just looks so well uh, done, so well executed, very creative, looks really, really great. It fits in your collection, not only as a, you know, a Fortnite figure, but it's as character as an old. It looks like something that would be very reminiscent, something that would have came out in like G.I. Joe had they been done in a seven or six inch scale. Red Strike is a definite surprise and a definite must own for 2019 for any action figure collector and enthusiast and definitely worth being on your collecting shelf. I guarantee you, you will not regret owning him. He is really, really beautiful to look at and a very, very pleasant surprise. And he's, act, he's proof that McFarlane can deliver at the highest quality 
and the highest caliber uh, when he puts his effort and done things right. Definitely a worthy of the list. Coming in at my number seven is none other than the NECA Aliens Kenner Throwback Space Marine Upon. This figure is spectacular. You just look at the level of detail and attention to love and care that went into it. It is a recreation of the Apon figure from the Kenner line from back in the day when we were younger. Done in a more modernized style with a more realistic take. As if he was part of the actual Alien franchise movies with Sigourney and Weaver. This character, the attention to detail in his face... The way he looks, the the way that uh, the the accessories move with the character, the articulation, the paint applications, the accessories that come with it, everything hits at the highest number, at the best price point that you can ever imagine for a figure of this quality. He's a must-own. Neca knocked it out of the park with this one. You definitely should look into picking him up. He is spectacular and definitely worth owning. As a worthy contender in the list here of 2019 for uh, you know any figure collection collector. Coming in at my number six, the Mattel Ultimate Collection Ultimate Warrior. What can I say about the Ultimate Warrior? My favorite wrestler of all time since I was a young, younger kid, a teenager, to be, inf to, to be exact. This is the most accurate representation of any Ultimate Warrior figure that I've ever seen in the price point that, it, that he comes in from the company of Mattel. From his cloth good jacket to all of the paint applications in his face the detail in his hair sculpt and the hairline, the paint job, the articulation, all the paint line and tattoos and work that is done in his trunks, his knee pads, his elbow pads, his fringe fr fringes that come on, on his boots, on the boots, everything, plus the articulation to match with it. He is absolutely breathtaking especially in person because the colors really really pop he is a figure for any wrestling fan to have in their collection to absolutely must own if you're an ultimate warrior fan without a doubt go out and get him immediately and he's a figure that even if you're not a wrestling fan as a figure an action figure form he is worth having on your toy shelf because he is beautiful he will stand out and he absolutely stunning. The ultimate warrior from Mattel from the ultimate WWE collections line. A must own and one of the best figures of 2019. Coming in at my number five, the Star Wars Black Series six inch deluxe figure General Grievous from the phantom menace this figure is one of the best interpretations of any character in star wars in figure form and six inch scale because of the intricacies and the details that were put into the figure from the splitting of the hands having the four hands the lightsabers the pouches inside the cloth to store the lightsabers the actual blaster, the cloth goods. Um, I mean, it's very, very hard to inter to interpret a figure from anything that's uh, from anywhere into six inch figure form uh, and bring this level of detail and quality uh, just like that. It's very, very difficult. The only thing I would complain is that maybe they should have sewed in the seam line in the bottom of its of his cloth but other than that this figure from black series is probably the best and the biggest highlight of 2019 and this figure came out early in the year so a lot of people might have forgotten 
that he even came out this year. And, you know, I heard people gripe about him, but it was little minute things that really I didn't think were worthy or justified of the, you know, complaining because uh, he's very intricate, as you can see, and very difficult to to bring out in figure form if you if you see the process of figure making so he's definitely my number five and uh, definitely a worthy contender of uh, top five figures of 2019 definitely must own that you should add to your collection without any hesitation if you can hunt them down please do so you will not regret it general Revis. Coming in at my number four is the McFarlane Toy 7-inch scale line. Aim Fortnite figure. And just look at this figure. A robot cybernetic character with a axe pick that is called the Harvester with some guns, backpack, the paint applications, the attention to the sculpt and detail, the attention to the articulation to interpret it, it being a robot figure is absolutely exquisite this is one of the best moments and highlights in mcfarland's fortnite action figure line this year without a shadow of a doubt it's a figure that everyone should reach out and go out and pick up and it must own for your collection and especially if you're a fortnite fan and a fortnite fan or a fan of the mcfarland fortnite figures he is absolutely stunning he must own recommend it to everyone to go out and pick him up definitely worthy of the 2019 top spot at number four coming in at number three the mythic legions battle cat homage from the masters of the universe karu rose figure this is a six and a half inch figure in scale the attention to detail in this figure not only depicts battle cat to perfection but it is absolutely stunning to look at it's completely exquisite with all the little hints and details of the battle cat armor that was in introduced in the figure and implemented in a way that if you didn't see it you would not think would work correctly in figure form but once the four horsemen you know, since they're masters of this of their craft, sculpted this and made and created it for their own figure line with the homage to Battle Cat from Masters of the Universe. Once you saw it, you could not believe the attention to detail and how well is represented in figure form. A definite must own, a little bit higher on price point, but worth every penny. It is a more premium style figure uh, and in quality and accessories galore the articulation is second to none top quality very soft very smooth beautiful figure anyone that's a masters fan anyone that's a figure a fan of any a really good figure must own this figure and have it in their collection one of the best to earn the top third three spot of 2019 best figures and coming in at my number two spot the absolute creme de la creme from hasbro this is the overwatch six inch figure scale farah action figure and just look at this figure the paint applications the attention to detail the translucent fire blast effects the weapons the color paint applications on all of the weapons on her armor the pieces that open up the fact that she came with a stand and it's not any has been stand it's a beautiful stand with high quality with the actual symbol of overwatch this is got to be the best highest quality figure that hasbro produced this year okay in my sincere opinion at the absolute best cost and quality you cannot ask for a better figure in this scale at the price that hasbro introduced it in the two-pack that it came with with mercy 
this is a must own an absolute gem for 2019 one of the best figures that all struck me that i was just completely mind blown and i had to include it and it's so high on my account on my on my figure count as you see that it's my number two best figure of 2019 a must own for any figure enthusiast and any action figure aficionado that loves good action figures especially at the price point and right now you can get them dirt cheap at your local walmart the two pack is running for none other than 28 dollars you must go out and pick it up i can't stress it enough you will not regret owning this figure and i'm not even a fan of the game it's just the aesthetics the style the design this figure screams perfection and love and care and what a figure should be in represented in plastic form for any collector and any collection line Farah is my number two spot and coming in at my number one spot you guys have been following my channel for a very long time and it should come as no surprise because I'm a big Masters of the Universe fan but to be fair this figure is absolutely incredible the mondo exclusive one six scale he-man masters of the universe figure this is the creme de la creme in this scale this figure i have compared it next to things like hot toys and sideshow that i own myself which i don't own many but i own some and at the price point that Mondo sold this figure and the price point in which this figure comes and the package that it comes in like as what it has to deliver from accessories to paint applications to the attention to detail to the articulation the cloth goods soft goods you name it this is a must own for any true hardcore figure collector even if you're not a Motu fan you are going to adore and endure this figure i guarantee you i'm always i'm almost 95 percent that you will love this figure this is a must own and all those that came out this year as well like skeletor and figure are definite must own but this one took the top spot for me not only as a Motu fan, but because it was the figure that to this day I look at every single day, I play with, I touch. It just, I love the way this figure came out. This head scope, the face, everything about this figure is just beautiful, absolutely stunning, gorgeous. I, I, it's just so pleasant to touch and look at. It is a wonderful, wonderful depiction and interpretation of he-man in a more realistic take of our reality from mondo i'm so glad that they did this i've always wanted something like this in my life when i since i started collecting something that looked like a realistic take of he-man in a really big scale grand scale like a hot toys or like a sideshow collectible and they delivered and boy they did not disappoint I cannot wait to get the rest of these figures. It's, I cannot wait for Scareglow, Merman, and Man at Arms, and Hordak. I cannot wait. These figures are beautiful. I can't stress it enough. An absolute must own. I 100% recommend it. Go out and pick it up because you will not be disappointed. So, with this, we are at the end of my list. So, I'll bring in the rest of the cast or at least my top 10 figures of 2019 so that we can close out this show and the video here you have it guys my top 10 of the 37 best figures of 2019 I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys tuned in and stayed in the entire time to the end of the video I hope it's not too long and you feel exhausted but I guarantee you you stayed you probably had some fun with my picks and surprise with some of my picks perhaps 
Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know if you like my list, if you didn't like, if you think that all these figures were deemed worthy, if you have them already in your collection, or if you plan to add them to your collection. Either way, it's fun to know what you guys are thinking. Like this video or dislike this video. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. However you feel after you watch it. Share it with someone you think might enjoy it. If you're new to my channel and you liked what I did, please feel free to subscribe. That is why I'm here for, to try to give content for you guys to enjoy. But remember, if you did subscribe and you are new here, I'm very grateful because I know you don't have to. But if you did, I consider you now part of my family. So, with that said, I'm also, like I've told you guys, and extended my help to you, you to extend it to my my transparency to you guys before. If you guys ever want to help me in any way, shape, or form to help my channel grow, whether it's with content or better quality, uh, with lighting and camera, or even editing, please, it's all down in the description below, whether it's through my PayPal or through a Patreon, which I told you guys why I wanted to do it and the reasoning for it. I hope you guys are, are still here with me and you'll join me for the ride. And you know, remember, it's only if you want to from the kindness of your heart. You do not have to. It's not an obligation. It's just if you want to. Guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. My 37 figures, best and top 10 of 2019. I hope you have fun just as much as I had fun doing it for you and making this video for you. Until the next time, tune in. See you guys then. Love you very much. See you in the next one.